Hi everyone. It is July 15, 2018. I'm sure all of you know about the robot animals and insects and insects and animals used as spies and sensors and insects. I'm just going to go through briefly some information and the reason why I pulled some of this information up is because last night I saw this. So I turn to the left and this is right where my desk is and I see this what kind of looked like a fly but didn't really and when I went close to it it didn't behave like a fly like it should have just flown off but it didn't. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, all right, it doesn't really look like a fly. The head of that, God, I went through so many images looking at flies to try to come up with a fly that looks like that. It looks like it has a, a strange kind of wooden head. All right, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this video, but the frequencies that were hitting my camera, and yes, these are frequencies making the camera go out of focus and then back into focus, and then the pulsing frequencies that we are saturated in that are so dangerous. All right, so I just took this for my own self just to look at it and try to get a closer picture of it, but I couldn't. All right, I go into the bathroom and then I see this fly and I get really close to it and it doesn't fly off and I see a light turn on in the back on the back of this fly. It's a light. It's off now, but you'll see it turn on. Boom. It turns on. What is that? Do flies have lights on their back that turn on? The reason why I got out my camera is because I saw what looked like metal on the back of this fly, like gold metal, little pieces of metal. Well, as I was filming it, it lit up. And you'll see it go off. It goes off. Okay. <sighs> this world we're living in. And to all of those who just want to say, oh, you're paranoid, you're schizophrenic, take your medication, you're crazy. Do you not even have any curiosity? Can we not even just ask questions about things? Okay. Well, whatever this is, there sure is an awful lot of information, facts, evidence that our military is using insects as spies. And I will link below to all of this. I'm not going to be spending much time on it. If you're interested, click on the links below and read how well the CIA, they wanted to turn cats into spies. And if you've not read a book called Frankenstein's Cat, all about how the animals of tomorrow will be transformed by high-tech implants and genetic engineering, how our CIA, our military, DARPA, all of the studies, all of the experiments, and their application of using insects and animals as spies, surveillance, and also to attack 
enemy forces read that book but I just want to read a few uh, bits in this article DARPA DARPA was looking to find small-scale flying machines a common fly can cruise the skies for hours at a time all they'd have to do was figure out how to hack into insects' bodies and control their movements. And with nanotechnology, nanosensors, guess what? They can do it. So, uh, a DARPA pamphlet said it might be possible to transform insects into predictable devices that can be used for missions requiring unobtrusive entry into areas inaccessible or hostile to humans they always make it sound like the the studies the experiments the, the the use of this technology is all for good yes we can create insects surveillance insects that will go where humans can't go and it's all about well in one article I read they can use them to fly into caves to save people trapped in caves really so the insect spy for DARPA they were more likely to be successful than their kitty they wanted to create cats that would be um, used as spies, but cats are very tricky. So again, I don't know if they were able to get cats to operate as spies. But yes, insects, tracking devices, the simultaneous decrease in size and increase in power of microprocessors, receivers, and batteries are making it possible to create true animal cyborgs by implanting these micro machines into animals bodies and brains we can seize control of their movements and behavior genetics provides new options too with scientists engineering animals whose nervous systems are easy to manipulate so think about all of uh, these releases of genetically modified insects well, are they really being released to kill off mosquitoes or these insects that are killing crops, the moths, the release of these genetically modified moths in New York, which I just posted a video on last night? Are they releasing that to kill off mosquitoes and these insects that are killing crops or are they releasing an awful lot of spies yeah the house fly scientists hope to harness insects extraordinary flying ability to cut down the science uh, to cut down the size of military drones the mechanics of insects can be reverse engineered to design midget machines to scout battlefields and search for victims trapped in rubble. Oh, I love our military. They so are there to protect us. Dragonfly drones, cyborg moths, tiny flying robots set to be the future of spying and rescue missions. The government is engineering cyborg for spy animals. Really? Yeah. Now, you see the sensor on the back of this beetle? They can now put sensors into the insects. Robo wings, military drones that mimic hawks and insects. Um, Pentagon cyborg beetle spies take off. I'm just showing you that throughout the years there has been a tremendous amount of information on what our military has been doing now when you see the information that reads oh they're so good and they want to protect us please try to
take a step back and just question, are you being naive in terms of how you think? The U.S. Army's next secret weapon, a robo-fly spy. Researchers unveiled tiny insect drone that can accompany soldiers into battle and enter enemy headquarters undetected. So these pictures, they look like just metal um, objects. They can put these sensors into insects, actual insects, and they can make their uh, spying insects look exactly like insects. So when they show you pictures like this, please don't be naive to think that that is what these spies look like. I'm going to link below to everything. And if you want to see the full videos, or read the articles, just click on the links below. But amazing U.S. surveillance drones the size of insects, a bee. Wow. Well, let me turn up the volume because I'm just going to play a few uh, seconds of these videos. The U.S. Air Force unveiled insect-sized spies as tiny as bumblebees that could not be detected and would be able to fly into buildings to photograph, record, and even attack insurgents and terrorists. Around the same time, the Air Force also unveiled what it called lethal mini-drones based on Leonardo da Vinci's blueprints for his ornithopter flying machine and claimed they would be ready for rollout by 2015. That announcement was five years ago and, since the U.S. military is usually pretty cagey about its technological capabilities, it raises the question as to what it is keeping under wraps. The yeah, it sure does raise an awful lot of questions. Um, this is a hummingbird drone used for surveillance. They've got birds, they've got hawks, they've got hummingbirds, they've got bees, they've got beetles, dragonflies, and yeah, perhaps flies, houseflies, or flies that come into your house with little sensors. We're surrounded by this, as far as I'm concerned. Now, this is the release of spying insects. So they can, <laughs> out of their planes, they can release all of those round um, packages, and they will open up once they're released and insects come flying out of them but think about the fires and think about what you are about to see put it together put it together <laughs> Just to let you know what this says, I'm sorry, this the screen capture didn't capture the whole thing. It says, and when you were trying to figure out what is uh what is drone, why were why we're putting jet engines well, it's not written very well. Um, why we were putting jet engines on drones we had these drones even before all of that. Oh wow, fire coming out of the drone. <clears throat> Boom, an 
look what it does. <clears throat> Firing missiles. Drone flyer. Drone firing missiles. And voila, you got fire. Okay, um, so we have an awful lot going on. So much that we don't even know. So what do you think about the fly in my bathroom? Love to hear your comments. Any of you who are just going to leave shitty comments, don't even bother. I will erase them, delete them. So don't waste your time.